Shortball, brought to you by Han Super Dry 3.5. G'day, I'm Nick McArdle and welcome to the Short Ball. All the best bits of the weekend Super Rugby action. Plenty of good stuff. Let's get started in Perth. The Rebels and the Force decided to throw it around in an entertaining game at the Force Field. Rebels on the board early through Mike Harris there. The home team though, so there's still a bit of life out west. Albie Matthewson here with a, a cheeky halfback special, but the Rebels sneaking home in a tight one. The Tars got off to a flyer under the roof in Dunedin. Nick Phipps and Matt Carraro crossing early, but the Highlanders have got plenty of quality, especially out wide with the likes of Patrick Osborne. And they stormed home their last three wins this season, coming against the last three Super Rugby champions. Handy bit of trivia that, thanks to the Fox Sports Lab. Back across to Suncorp, and the Brumbies piled more hurt on the luckless Reds. Big Benny A, try scoring machine, got himself a double. The Reds look much improved early on, and there is still hope with the big guns. Not far from returning in a fortnight after the bye, but the Brumbies now top of the ladder and showing plenty of class. Now, off to New Zealand and the birthplace of Super Rugby, the bright lights of Palmerston North. The Canes and the Blues kicked off this competition 20 years ago right here. The Blues won that night, but Shirley Bassey won't be happy. History hasn't repeated as the Canes stay unbeaten, the only team left without a loss. Now, the Crusaders have started horribly this season, but it's all starting to come together nicely as they toweled up the Lions 34-6 in Christchurch. Some nice hands here from Kieran Fonatia. He's over the line, and uh, they've got big guns coming back to Sam Whitelock. Good on the weekend. Kieran Reid as well over to Cape Town. And the Stormers' unbeaten run came to an end at the hands of the Chiefs, who had a few scrum issues. They've pulled it together to score some cracking tries in this one. And finally... We'll have a look at the Sharks in Bloemfontein. Certainly on a roll in the Free State, overpowering the Cheetahs. And Marcel Kutsia, he grabbed a double in this one. So the Sharks travelling OK after the weekend. Now, plenty of meat pies flying around this weekend, but the pick of the bunch goes to the Highlanders' Fijian flyer, Wasaki Naholo. Here is our try of the week. try his second of the season. He's uh, started well. Our question for our poll this week, can the Waratahs go back to back after losing two of their first four games this season? Tweet us at Fox Sports News with the hashtag shortball yes or hashtag shortball no. Let us know what you think. Will the Tars go all the way again in 2015? Well, if it's big hits you're after, then you are in the right place because we've got a couple of crackers for you. It is hammer time. Sonny Bill Williams. And he's a heavyweight boxer, but that's chin music like you don't get in the in the ring. Yeah, Sonny Bill looked like he wasn't going to get up from that, but he did get up. Good news. Now on to some of the wackier stuff from the weekend. It's you're kidding me. And Liam Gill, what were you thinking? If Liam ever wants a change of scenery, if he decides rugby's not his thing. What about a stint in the WWE after pulling off this suplex on Nick White? Watch out, Ultimate Warrior. But unfortunately, that's not entirely legal in footy, and he had to spend 10 in the bin. We loved it. The judiciary, not so much. Uh, Liam facing a suspension there. All right, there's uh, lots in store on Rugby HQ this Thursday night. We've got Waratahs and Wallaby superstar Michael Hooper on the couch, along with Lions superboot Marnitz Boshoff. And we'll be talking to Stephen Moore, the man many regard as the most important player in Australian rugby this year. Rugby HQ, 8.30pm Eastern on Fox Sports 2. Look forward to your company. And uh, on Sunday afternoon, our match of the round, the Waratahs are back at home, taking on the competition leaders, the Brumbies at Allianz Stadium. A repeat of last year's semi. Tars fans hoping for a similar result too. That one, Sunday afternoon at Allianz, should be... An absolute ripper.
All right, that is us done and dusted for the short ball this week. And remember, if you spot anything weird or wonderful from the weekend, let us know. The Twitter handle is at Fox Sports News with the hashtag the short ball. We'll see you soon.